Morning Show. It's Will on Iconic Rock Q92.7 and online at WQBL.com. I'm scrolling through Facebook the other day, and I find this thing called Stoney's Kindness Fund. And I'm looking at the caricature picture here. I'm like, that guy looks familiar. I know <laughs> that guy. And I really did. I knew, I knew that guy. Chuck Sutton. And uh, Chuck and his family have been longtime friends here at the radio station ever since I got here, you know, 20-some years ago. And uh, Chuck lost his life uh, recently, in the past year. And so the family got together, and they decided they wanted to do something really appropriate that I think Chuck would really like. And Chris Stone and Sandy Stone are in the studio this morning. Guys, thanks for popping in. Appreciate it very much. Uh, tell me about... Stoney's Kindness Fund. What was the idea about doing something like this for your, for Chuck? Well, I I don't know, Mom. I guess I'll, you know, when Dad passed, you know, people wanted to give to a fund. Okay. Right. Um, and that happens, you know, a lot. People give money to the Humane Society to different causes. Yep. And at the time, because it was you know, dad's passing was so unexpected. Absolutely. I mean, he was watching football Saturday, that Saturday night yeah. Yeah. and <laughs> mom woke up the next morning and he was gone. Yeah. And so, you know, we really didn't have a chance yet to, to wrap our, our head around. What do we want to do with the money that people have given? By the way, appropriate. He's watching football. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> go ahead. Um, and so, um, you know, we got through everything and we started talking about what do we want to do? You know, because dad, how do we want to, mom, help me. Dad, dad wasn't necessarily a scholarship kind of guy. Well, I think your dad, because of, you know, where he worked, he worked with children. He worked with kids. Yep. And he worked with um, his, the last teaching job where he was still teaching when he passed. Um, he worked with, at Tri Rivers for a while. He worked at Tri Rivers yeah. for many years, and then he was with Marion City Schools, and he was working in there. It was called Rushmore Academy. Yep. And it was basically for kids. It's it's like for kids who this is this is your last this is your last chance. Yeah. To make it through school, that's the type of kid he worked with, and he was always um, doing that extra extra bit for those kids. Yeah. And I told the boys, I said, look. I said, we could do a scholarship fund in your dad's name, but I think what he'd really like for us to do is help kids while they're here, while they're in this community. This community helped him so much, more than a lot of people ever know, would ever know when he was growing up. It takes a village. He could have been the poster child for it takes a village <laughs> yeah. to okay. raise a child. Okay. He really could have. Um, and without going into all that, but... I said, let's, let's focus on helping kids here, helping kids in Bucyrus. And helping yeah. them now. And helping yeah. them now. Exactly. And helping them now. Yeah. And so the, you, the family got together and, and you guys created Stoney's Kindness Fund. Right. Uh, tell me, what, 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 is this, what is this all about? So I guess first thing I want to say is thank you to the Community Foundation for Crawford County and Lisa Workman. Because... You know, we went to Lisa and she spent some time researching, um, you know, looking at different ideas. This is their first this one. This is their this is their first. Um, it's called a social impact fund. OK. OK. So it's very different than any kind of other fund that they they really have there. Most of it's a, a lot of scholarships, a lot of um, project funds, what have you. And so um, the idea behind this fund is that once a year. Uh, the fund will distribute uh, a certain amount of money to the Bucyrus City Schools. Okay. Um, and then when the schools get that money, the school counselors will be the ones to basically spend and it. And social workers. And social workers. So school counselors and so, so the social workers at Bucyrus will be the ones to decide how the money gets spent, right? And so the money, you know, some of the ideas that we had on how the money could be spent would be, you know, school supplies, personal hygiene items, clothing. You know, um, I know for a lot of years when mom and, and Adam were on the school board, you know, the, there were, the, there, they had thought about a pay-to-play fee. Well, that constantly was being waived, 
right? Mm -hmm. But if that were to be something that were to be reinstituted, that fund is there for that. If you have a kid that wants to play football that can't buy his cleats, right? Or a girl that wants yeah. to play softball that can't buy a glove or her cleats, right? Or you have a, a kid that wants to be in the band. In the band, right. right. Yeah. And, so, and so this fund is designed so that those kids who want to participate or who need certain things, right? Clothing. Like one thing I, you know, one of my ideas was if you have kids that, that need new clothes, right? Go to Goodwill and get a gift certificate for those kids to go buy clothes yeah. for school. Um, and so that's, that's kind of where, you know, those are the things that the money could be spent on. And so as it sits right now, you know, we're at, at $5,000 in the fund and, you know, we've told the foundation, do not disperse any money until we make this an endowed fund. Okay. And for anybody who doesn't know what an endowment fund is, at least with our foundation, it has to have um, $25,000 in the fund. Okay. And then it becomes an endowed fund and an endowed fund will outlive all of us. And that's really what I think our biggest thing is, is we want this to be something that impacts kids in Bucyrus for generations to come, not just today, not just next week, but for many, many years. And so, you know, our big push right now is um, we need to raise $20,000 by the end of August, because if we, when we hit that goal, the foundation will be able to make, it'll be a small disbursement, but the foundation will be able to make a disbursement to the schools and they'll be able to use that, that to help kids. An now. immediate impact this year. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And that's what we're hoping for. Yeah. We really are. You okay. know, and in, and in time, you know, and I, well, you and I were talking about this before we went on air and, and I've told mom and Adam, you know, my ultimate goal is to have this fund so big that we get calls from the social workers, the school counselor or the, or the, the treasurer from the district that says, Hey guys, we got a problem. We got more money than we can spend. If that happens, not if, there's no if, when that happens, <laughs> um, then we'll know that every kid in, Bu in the Bucyrus schools who has a need or who has something that they want, like new cleats or whatever, that need has been met. Yeah. And then sometimes, sometimes that's big for a, a kid... You know, they can't afford cleats or they can't afford, you know, a, a uniform or a band instrument yeah. or whatever it is. I mean. Yeah. And, and mom, you know, mom said it right. So ever since they moved us back here, back in what, 83, 84, something like that. Uh, yeah, and I, 85 I don't something. Know. Dad, dad was always giving back to the community, whether it was, you know, coaching football or coaching track. Or that press box out, you know, the press box Heck out yeah. at the stadium. Yeah. You know, that that's that's what I'll never forget, you know, them saying we want that 12th man sign up on the side of that, <laughs> up on the side of that. Dad found a way to get it up there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, and it, it, it was all it was all built by volunteers. Yeah. Not just dad there, you know, Terry Spiegel, Alvi, Alvi Watkins, um, Ken Thomas. There there are so many people that have had such in, you know, we could sit here for hours and talk about the people that, that helped dad when he was growing up, you know, and, yep. and mom's right. It takes a village. And this is our way of, of continuing his legacy and, and trying to be a part of that village to help raise these kids up. Okay. I'm hearing stories even after, you know, he's, he's been gone yep. of things that he did that I had no idea about. Really? Yeah. I just found Those out. Those are the best stories, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. I just found out that um, there's an elderly lady in our neighborhood. And the Saturday before he died, he took her breakfast. And they sat and talked. <laughs> and, that doesn't surprise and me. And I had no idea. I, yeah. I think he did that more, more than what we knew, you know, because he just... That's who he was, and he just never, he never told us, you know? It's just what he did. That's just what he did. It's just what he did. Well, and one of my favorite stories is the ranch dressing story. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll tell you. Well, he would take ranch dressing. He'd buy big bottles of ranch dressing and take to school because the the meals would be brought in by a truck. Okay. And to, to, to Rushmore. With Rose. Well, Withrow. Yeah. yeah, it's Withrow now. I'm sorry. 
And they changed the name. I get so confused. But anyway, they would never send ranch dressing for these kids. Like for their kids love ranch. Kids dressing. love ranch. They yeah. love to dip it ra everything in ranch. <laughs> so I remember when he came home, he said, This is ridiculous. I'm getting ranch dressing for those kids. And every week or two, he would buy big jars or big things of ranch dressing and take him to school. And um the the kids loved it. You know, they expected it. He made their day. Yep. And I was cleaning out his wallet and uh the Friday before he died on Sunday, he yeah. had just bought two things of ranch dressing <laughs> and had taken it in. And uh, when I was down there, I told, when we went down to his classroom, I told his principal, I said, you guys need to make sure these kids have ranch dressing. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Keep it coming. Yep. So, so, I mean, there's a lot more we can talk about, but um, let's talk about how people can get involved with Stoney's Kindness Fund. How sure. can people get involved with this? Yeah, so the, the best thing to do, it, you know, there's two ways to give. One is to go online to um, the Community Foundation for Crawford County's website. There's okay. a button that says donate, you know, donate now, donate today. Click on that. Um, when you get there, you can select how much you want to give. And then there's a drop down menu where you can select the fund that you want it to go to. So if, if, you're, if you feel compelled to give to Stoney's Kindness Fund, you can scroll down, click on that, um, and then you know, send in your donation online. Uh, if you prefer to to send a check, uh, you need to make it payable to the Community Foundation for Crawford County um, and with Stoney's Kindness Fund in the memo line. And I think the address is, you'd, you'd mail it to uh, the Community Foundation for Crawford County, 254 East Mansfield Street, Bucyrus, Ohio, 44820. All right, we've got information about this on our Facebook page this morning and... Uh, uh, you can check out, yeah, just uh, go to the search engine for Facebook, just type in Stoney's Kindness Fund. Yeah, and, and, and eventually, I mean, we'll have we'll have a Facebook page, and there's some other things that, that are in the works right now to, you know, I think ultimately our biggest goal is to, it, it, it's, it's awful, right? Like, I, I, I go to call him every, every day. I go to text him every day, and it's like, uh, Dang I, know. It. I can't do it. Yeah. Um, but I think the biggest thing for us is we want to try to create through this fund and some of the other things that we're doing, we want to try to encourage a culture of kindness. You know, whether that is in the schools, in the community, I think if it starts in the schools, it can spread into the community. Yep. Right. Um, I think that's part of what our, our society as a whole is lacking is kindness and empathy for other people. And so if we can, you know, through our un unfortunate loss, you know, dad's untimely passing, if we can use that to, to start to, 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 I don't even know the word I'm looking for, but if we can start to develop that, then I think that, you know, I think dad will be looking down on us and, and smiling bridge. and. Yeah, and and you know, for year, I my biggest thing is I want this thing to be there for years to come, you know, kids who, kids I'll never meet, kids my kids will never meet, kids their kids will never meet. Yeah, right. That that's the ultimate goal here. You want information about Stoney's kindness fund? Uh, we'll post some information. It's on our face. It's on our Facebook page now. We'll have some information uh, very soon up on CrawfordCountyNow.com as well. Chris, thank you. I appreciate the time as always. And if you guys. Need to talk more about Stoney's Kindness Fund. You're getting close to a push or whatever. You guys need stuff to talk about. Pop on the radio. You guys thanks, got a green Will. light. You guys got a green light to come in here anytime you want. Well, thanks. Whether I'm here or not. <laughs> we appreciate that, Will. Thank we, you so we much. We kind of know this building. <laughs> we, a little like, bit. Like the back of our hand. <laughs> Just a little bit.